What is up people, another day, another video. Let's watch some videos and play Spot the BS. So this is our grid for today and I have explained every single box what it means down in our doc. So you can click that link down in the description and let's begin playing. I have something here uh, which is not really a science video. However, there is an argument taking place in the video and the argument being made commits a certain fallacy. I want to see if you can spot that. Is it okay to have female friends when you have a girlfriend? Yes. Why? Because we're too fucking old for this toxic controlling shit. You females need to work out your insecurity issues before getting into a relationship and traumatizing an innocent dude. So you wouldn't be jealous at all if your girlfriend had male friends? Well, that's different because they obviously want to sleep with her. So uh, that there is, guess what fallacy it is. There's no extraordinary claim being made, un I mean surprisingly, so I'm not gonna mark that right now, but there is a fallacy here. It's special pleading. So that means in every other scenario, this rule applies. However, what I'm talking about is a separate case. It's different, it's an exception. So it's making a special exception a special pleading just for the scenario he's bringing. In this case, uh, he's talking about how the boyfriend can have uh, female friends, but the girlfriend cannot have male friends. And the uh, exception being made is on unfair grounds. That's what special pleading is. I'll give you an example uh, of how it tends to be used. There is this logic that theists use. Uh, they say that the whole world, nothing, moves without being set in motion by something else which is actually a reasonable claim so if something has set something else in motion or something has created something because obviously that means uh, nothing is created without being created by something else everything in the universe is created by something else created by something else created by something else and that ultimate eternal creator that's what they say is called god and God is what created the whole universe so that everything in the universe leads. I mean, if you trace its creation back, you'll reach God. And the problem with this argument is who created God? And these will argue that, hey, God is eternal, doesn't need to be created, is outside space and time. These are all special pleading arguments. If everything needs to be created, but God doesn't need to be created, you're making a special exception on unfair grounds for God. That's why it's special pleading. Let's watch another one. I love my dessert. And if you tell me no dessert after food, mm. I'd go crazy. I'd have fruit of the season mixed with uh, with yogurt and, and, and created in such a way that when frozen. If you like fruit custard, three... By the way, this is the same guy we saw in yesterday's video, uh, Ayurveda page. Uh, he actually mentioned something on Ayurveda here. Let's talk about the same thing. First fruit custard is room temperature. Cold or frozen food is because of the imbalance of the water. What is this water dosha? What is it? Just show me some evidence for it. So I'll mark extraordinary claims. And since he's appealing to Ayurveda, I will mark appeal to uh, tradition Gas or bloating ho sakti hai. Second, isme ilaichi dalchini ya saffron add kar le. Inke health benefits to hai. Saath mein ye milky heaviness or fruit ki sweetness ko balance kar de. Milky heaviness. What the hell is that? Does milk make you feel heavy? I mean, these are evidence-less, baseless claims. I will ignore them, but yeah, I like to examine them. Before. So you won't have digestive problems. Third, if you want to eat fruits, if you eat in a fruit custard desert, then you can eat in a small amount. Still, if you have a problem with gas, then you can take a little bit of good soap. You can also get rid of the sugar cravings and get rid of the health benefits. I will also mark misinformation here. Um, I won't say fear mongering yet because he's not saying avoid this, this will give you this disease. He's not saying that yet. But um, see the problem here is that we are kind of used to being given instructions from some authority, right? So we don't tend to question that authority. And that's what he's employing over here. He's just giving instructions as the authority. And uh, what's the base for that instruction? What's the basis? Uh, is there any evidence behind it? Can we, is there any reason why you're 
uh, asking us not to eat at this temperature something that has evidence uh, is there any reason why you're saying eat in this quantity not in that quantity all that stuff let's watch another one the most acid forming substance you can put in your body i'm sorry i cannot call it a food because i consider it a poison and that is the pure crystallized acid that's been extracted from the sugar cane plant it's a highly concentrated substance whether it be white tan or brown one of the problems with sugar today is it's so this video is clearly fear mongering it's making people think that sugar is some kind of uh, oh man i really want to get the diagonal anyway it's clearly making people think that uh, sugar now on sugar is not an acid an acid has to be able to generate h plus ions or uh, accept electrons i believe that's what a lewis acid is i think sugar does none of those things so chemically it cannot be an acid now if you're saying that uh, sugar causes all these problems provide evidence these are extraordinary claims being made without any evidence and we've seen lots of sugar fear mongering videos but the fact is sugar can be part of your diet but eating too much of it easily leads to a lot of problems limiting it is easily achieved if you limit your calories you cannot eat a lot of sugar while limiting your calories so that's an easy way that's what i used to do when i was losing weight but uh, yeah highly sprayed because the bugs attack it. The sugar cane is grown in the same ground again and again and again so the ground is very depleted in new this, this actually makes a bit of sense. So there are many reasons why sugar should never be eaten and there is no need for us to eat sugar. We've got beautiful sweeteners like honey, maple. What is honey? Honey doesn't have sugar. What are you thinking? Honey is plant origin sugars again. Well, syrup. And maple syrup is it, it's chemically another sugar you've also got coconut sugar palm sugar palm sugars coconut sugar sugars all these plant origin sugars are chemically similar to sucrose which is just a glucose and fructose molecule together so this could have other chemical elements uh, that are joined together in monosaccharide or disaccharide forms Sugar, that's just the crystallized nectar from the palm flower so there are many sweeteners so you don't have to go to the poison the most so how is palm sugar any different from sugar cane sugar which is what we commonly eat as sugar so um, fear mongering is a kind of appeal to emotion but I'm not marking that here that's about it I think again no bingo hopefully I will get a bingo soon uh, it's been quite some time since I had a bingo. See you in the next one.